So this is like the main topic that I want to go over today in how I was able to manage that loss and turn it around after uh, the zombie, uh, you know, to, to reversal and I was be able to make that back, uh, you know, like all of it back pretty much. So it was like two, uh, you know, almost like 3K here. And then uh, in the afternoon, it was like, you know, pretty much like a scratch day for me. The key was to keep it small and walk away at zombie. So I want to kind of, you know, talk about that a little bit, right? So like, I had like really nice morning into this. And I think that was the main reason why I kind of, you know, it fucked things up a little bit is because I have the cushion. Okay. Like earlier in the morning, I was up like, geez, like, uh, you know, almost like 5k with that. So it's technically I lost like almost like 8k. Uh, so it kind of hurts, you know, I, I mean, you know, you have to like, it hurts like hell, like, you know, it should have been a bunch, like, you know, maybe for some people it might, it might not be much, but, you know, like around 5K, that's a lot, right? And, but no, uh, you know, I had that, I had, you know, in my mind, I think it was like, man, it was the first red day. And I think the main problem was, like, I didn't make enough form you know, the day before, which is the first red day, right? I mean, you know, I still had a nice game, but I felt so underperformed the day before. And I'm not sure if you guys know, I, I post that in main chat as well. I've, you know, I felt really underperformed with myself. Like I should have nailed that with, you know, way much bigger size. But I think, I mean, there, there's really no one to blame, right? Uh, this this uh this first red day was really tough. I think earlier in that morning, uh, I was going to kind of trade in the first red day, and then suddenly some sort of news came uh, uh, from the president that uh, they're gonna you know uh, cancel like uh, the Russian oil and 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 so on. So it, it caused a spike, right? And I even post in watch list, so I don't really like that first red day idea anymore, you know, since I had that much of a squeeze. I mean, it squeezed all the way back to broke this pretty much like the previous height of day, right? So to me, that is the big, big red flag. And I really, you know, we've been talking about this like almost like every single day. The moment stock broke the previous height of day, or like the pre like uh, the pre market high, that's really dangerous. Okay, so it just confirms to that idea. And I said, now probably today not going to be the first red day. Uh, it should have died, but it didn't. So it squeezed all the way back. But right, anything can happen. So this is like how the market, you know, works. Uh, like most of the time. Uh, you know, when the thing we expected it to go, uh, but, uh, you know, it didn't, uh, and then right after that, it just slams and there you go. The first red day, right? I think red to green was like 1130 or so. And it went from 17, you know, I shorted some, uh, um, uh, right at the open here, 1650. I got it, you know, nice, but oh, it wasn't enough. Okay. I didn't have my size there, you know, I was like totally like fantasy order, like, you know, always I used to trade and there's no size there. And when I start tank to eight and then I'm like, oh man, fuck. I mean, big time, right? You know, if I had been prepared myself for that, you know, I would be able to, you know, slam a bunch here at 1130 and bang huge on that. So. I felt really underperformer on that day. And so that's why coming into the day after that, the day two, right? The true low hanging fruit is day two. Is that, man, I missed yesterday. I want to bang today. Okay. I mean, low hanging fruit, right? This is like my setup. I'm, you know, a master at it. You know, I've been trading this for a few years now. So <laughs> this is pretty much like my sweet, uh, sweet uh, kind of corner, right? And... And I said, you know, I got this, you know, I've been doing this for forever now. 
a mash of low hanging fruit. So I'm going to nail this. Okay. So with that mindset going, coming into the day, short sum in the pre-market and, you know, like crack this support, right? Start crack this support and then crack this one. I mean, you know, like for me, it was over. Okay. So first red day, crack the major support here, another support here. I mean, this is dead. Okay. And, and, uh, when I was looking at the meat, like, you know, like at that point it was like set six, man, it's like, it can easily go to four. So we're like two bucks here. Okay. So I'm going to size up right into that view app, uh, whatever. Uh, and then I'm going to bang huge. That, that was my mindset. Okay. I was, uh, I was like, I was having too much of convictions on that trade. And also I feel, felt bad about myself that I didn't make enough money yesterday. Uh, I felt underperformed. So today I want to kind of, you know, make it back, like revenge that. And that part was a big, big wrong for me. Okay. And you no, know, I had a nice win today and I used that as a cushion, you know, to basically to size up without, you know, uh, waiting for, uh, for the confirmation, like I usually do. Right. Uh, and also, you know, I couldn't even think about, you know, uh, logically how the low hanging fruit would perform. Right. It was like, you know, our rule is the first 30 minutes. Right. And look at that. 